Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of StampWithNelly.com and I wanted to share with you that I have made a fabulous discovery. I discovered that these um, mini paper pumpkin boxes from Stamping Up are the perfect size for these little packs of Hotel Chocolat chocolates. And all I've done is pop them in one of the boxes and created a belly band that I've decorated so that um, whoever I give them to will be able to use the box again should they wish to. Um, as I say, they're a perfect fit. I did um, think that I would make a box for these and then I suddenly when I was taking the measurements I thought Wait a minute, I bet that fits in one of the paper pumpkin boxes, the mini paper pumpkin boxes, and it does. So all I decided to do was just to use some of this gorgeous Paper Blooms designer series paper, which is free with a qualifying spend of £45 in celebration, which runs up until the 28th of February 2021 and this is the paper that I have used um, and I've used the Tasteful Touches stamp set along with the Tasteful Labels dies and all of these little flowers have actually been fussy cut from the same sheet of designer series paper as I used there. So we've got all of these. I've just kind of layered them up on top of each other. So um, I have to admit, I didn't fussy cut them myself. Um, I got my scan and cut to do that for me. Um, it wasn't perfect, some of them, um, because it's... Um, soft sea foam was a bit too light um, so it didn't cut all of the bits that I wanted but there was enough for me to layer up um, some other bits and pieces so I thought I would change out the designer series paper for the one with the larger um, flowers on it um, or you could do a more geometric one and add the flowers as well so the mini paper pumpkin boxes are roughly five and three quarter inches long. So I'm going to cut my strip to five and one quarter. Let me just bring this in. So five and one quarter. Now you don't actually need the full 12 inches that way um, so you could trim that down this is free paper and I'm not going to bother <laughs> just to be that little bit quicker um, which is unusual for me because I'm normally pretty frugal it has to be said um, so the paper pumpkin boxes come flat in a pack of, does it tell me, 10. 10 in the pack. And all you need to do is just gently fold them along those pre-scored lines. Do all that first. Now there's a couple of bits on either side there that you want to press out, just like that. And what will happen is to close, uh, to form the sides, those little tabs will go into those slots there. So bring up the side. And I find it easier to do one end at a time. 
didn't come out. So bring up the sides there and then fold that one over and it will go nice and neatly in to those slots just like that. So fold over the two sides and bring that third side over and it just slots in there. Pop in your chocolates, easy peasy. These bits go down inside and then these bits will do the same in there. Okay. Nice and neat. So, there's a fairly substantial overlap with this, but that's fine. As I say, you could trim it down. So all I'm going to do is I'm not going to score. I'm just going to fold, crease that edge there, take it off the box and just make sure that you've got the edges lined up and gently crease it. Put it back onto your box and do the same with your next edge. So I've got that nice and neat there. I'm just going to crease that with my fingers, fold it over, make sure I've got it straight, crease that as well. You could do it with a bone folder. I don't really want it, well, don't need it to be super crisp edge. So I'm quite happy to just do it with my fingers. Slide that out. Line it up. Press it down. Put that back in. And then we've got the final one there. So I said, see, there's a fairly hefty overlap there. Um, so you could chop off an inch or inch and a half, something like that. I'm just going to do that last one. So if you think you've got a use for that extra bit of paper, by all means go ahead and chop that bit off. Now I am going to just use some tear and tape for this. Putting it along the edge on the right side and along the other edge on the wrong side of the paper. Okay. That to the side just now. Take the backing off. Once again, just make sure you've got it not too tight because you do want to be able to slide it off. But here we go. So that will slide but does have a nice neat finish to it. It's not too loose. Okay. So now on to decoration and I've got a scrap of Whisper White card here. Um, I still have rather a lot of Whisper White. Um, it has now been replaced by Basic White, um, but I don't actually have any of that yet because I will be using up my supplies of Whisper White first. Here we are. And I am going to use this one to cut that out. Got a little bit of washi tape here. 
and I'm just going to bring in my mini and hope I've cut that piece of card narrow enough to go through the mini just perfect <laughs> so nice just having this at the side of my desk that I can just quickly pick up and run dies through without having to get the big one out although the big one's just as as convenient just a bit bigger really um so yeah got that one and I want to use this larger die as well. Oops. There we are. bits afterwards so I'm going to put that bit on there and that bit will have the flowers now as I say I have already got some fussy cut out so all I'm going to do is bring in my silicone mat and play around with them and just decide what I want to put where. Mm. Making sure I've got some for Up there as well. And there. Okay, so I'm going to um, put these together and I will be back in just a moment. Okay, so I have just used my um, multi-purpose glue and stuck them down. And I wasn't particularly careful with what I was, how far I was going with the glue, which is why I used my silicone mat and I, as you saw, I can just peel that off. It is going to get layered up on top of that bit anyway. So I'll just put that back down on there. Put that to the side for now. And these are the extra little bits I didn't need. And on here, I'm just going to put a little bit more tear and tape in the centre. and use that to secure some loops of this Knight of Navy ribbon which is part of the Playing With Patterns ribbon combo um, I think that will be fine and I've already taken this off the reel because this is the last of my reel. So I'll need to purchase more because I really love this ribbon. It, it has a beautiful sheen to it. Um, so yeah, clearly, clearly love it because I've used lots of it. Now I'm going to pop this on. Um, and I will just use my liquid glue and 
Then that's the front. Also, obviously, you could put the belly band on either way. And then just where that is. And then with this piece, I am going to add that with dimensionals. Um, I'm nearly at the end of my pack of dimensionals. So I will use up these little strips along the edge. As well. At least not, want, not when it comes to dimensionals. Used up plenty of those little bits. Although <laughs> the, the downside of using lots of little bits is having to take lots of bits of backing off. Okay, so just simply want to pop that on. Where I want it. Quite happy with that. Press that all down in place. And there we go. I have two beautiful but really easy to make mini paper pumpkin boxes filled with gorgeous hotel chocolate chocolates. I will put the measurements that I've used and all of the products that I've used, including this free paper that's only available during celebration in my blog and in the description bar below. You'll find a link to the blog in the description bar as well as links to my online Stamping Up shop. Thank you for watching. If you're not already a subscriber to my channel, please click on that button too. Until the next time, take care. Bye-bye.